snuck into a warehouse to steal and did it repeatedly. He's an absolutely antisocial person. Tomorrow he might kill someone in pursuit of profit, and we will be responsible for it. Boris, wait. Continuing the topic of thrombolytic therapy, the next step for us is to identify the causes and signs that the patient has and make a decision whether to proceed with the treatment or not. But look, Oksana, thrombolytic therapy has a lot of contraindications. Mm hmm. That is why I'm giving you the latest international protocol for modern patient care in case of myocardial infraction. Please. Oksana Pertivna, do we really need to stay for this? All right, I'm going. Yes, we do. He can leave, you can't. Oksana Petrivna just fired him. Stop. I didn't fire anyone. He wrote a statement of his own volition. Can we get back to the business at hand now? There are several points here, which for me is the most interesting. Nazar Semenovich, you are urgently needed. Nazar. Got it. Uh, well for me, the most interesting point is number three. Dennis Peripeditsa, seven years old. A broken wrist joint in his left arm and what appears to be a serious concussion. To traumatology. Tell me, are you his father? No, I'm a warehouse security guard. I came in this morning. I took a shift from my partner, made a, a detour, and found Dennis lying unconscious on the floor. The room was filled with boxes of household chemicals. All right, well, please wait here while I examine the patient. Uh. Mikola Ivanovich, I'm here to see you. Here it is. I hear you're finally leaving. I'm not surprised at all. You've been enduring it for a long Just time. Just sign it, please. It will be my pleasure. <clears throat> Don't you want to know how Mariana is doing? Well, I'll tell you anyway. She's doing just great. She's actually happy that she was finally able to figure out in time. She now lives and works in a beautiful dental clinic over in Kiev. She is now engaged to a doctor, a distinguished luminary of modern medicine. Wedding should be coming on soon. I'm so happy for her. Thank you. Uh -huh. So tell me, what do you know about the boy? Well, not that much. But Dennis has already been caught committing petty theft in our railway house more than once. But all of this happened only after the change in shift. Hmm. Is he from a dysfunctional family? Uh, his mother and her roommate are always drinking. Apparently, they constantly beat the boy because I always see his bruises. Did you report this to the police? His partner reported it. You know... The kid has been registered there for a long time, but I've always felt sorry for him. He often sells stolen goods so he can buy food and bring it home to them. Hmm. You mean he feeds his parents? It looks that way, yes. They're drunks. They don't really work anywhere. I tried calling the mother several times, but uh, no one's picking up the phone. I, apparently, they've, uh, they've already been drinking. I tell you what, I will go to their house and ask them to visit him. Yes, good. That will be very helpful. Thank you. Excuse no me. Well, hello. I see I have a neighbor. And what's your name? Dennis. Huh. <laughs> and my name's Roman. It's very nice to meet you. Good afternoon. Good Did afternoon. you call my mom? Yes. But she isn't answering. Don't you worry. Please lie down. The nurse will keep trying. Let's see what we have here. What are those bruises? Did your parents do this to you? No, I... I was... just fighting the guys in the yard. 
You know, my mother is very good and kind, and she loves me. All right. Scars only adorn the man, isn't that right, Dennis? Definitely. <laughs> Put it there, kid. You're cool, Roman. Let's be buddies, okay? Sonia, are you here? No, I'm not here. Hey, what's wrong with you? Why are you always sulking? Am I sulking? Well, who else? Me? <laughs> Actually, I'm in a great mood. Yeah, great mood, huh? Shall I show you a mirror? Sonia, if you don't change your mood right now, I'll tell your parents everything. Today, if I have to. What did you say? Well, it's high time that I met your parents, right? Platon. What's hiding in here? Shut up and kiss me. Hey, what are you doing out here? Your doctor prescribed a strict bedridden regimen. Come on, let's go. Let go of me, I'm fine. I have something very important to take care of. What is it then? I'm waiting for my mom. She'll be coming soon. <gasps> Look, kid, we've been calling your mom, but she's not answering her phone. There's Let's also go the security inside. guard, Misha. He promised me he would go to my house. You have a concussion, dear. Come on now. I'm not going anywhere. <sighs> Listen, kid, I'll tell you what. I give you my word. I'll keep calling your mom every hour. But you need to come with me to the ward right now. Is that a deal? Let's go. Okay. Let me take you back there and put you in bed or you might faint on the way trying to fight me. Why don't we go and eat some delicious cake together now? I'll make some strawberry tea. Would you like that? Maxim, just a minute. I was at Veronica's place yesterday. You should have come and visited her. She is at a very delicate stage. She's starting to finally getting a taste of living again. Okay, I'll stop by tomorrow. No, you what? Not tomorrow. Do you know what I spent a lot of time and effort trying to even out her mental state? And you just want to nullify everything now? No. Do you want to work this out properly? Then you must go and see her. Talk to me. It may happen to her that one day she will no longer need your help when she starts feeling like a, a complete full-fledged beautiful woman again. So give this time to her. Well, Boris, thank you. I'll try and figure something out soon. Do it today. So I'm sitting by myself, and? I'm holding the line, right? <laughs> the guy finally comes out of the entrance, and I let go of the fishing line, and the bucket of water falls right on his head. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> yeah, next time, he'll think twice before he says any nasty things about us. That's right. At first, I wanted to punch him in the face, but he's quite a big bully, and that really scared me. I see. So how do you study? I don't have time to study. I'm the only one making money in the family. My mother can't find any job. And the guy who lives with us is a complete idiot. You don't want to take him away from us. Mm-hmm. And how do you earn money? Well, in different ways. When I pull something from an idiot's pocket. Or when I wash cars. Dennis. <sighs> Here you go. Buy yourself something nice. Put your money away. I'm not a beggar. <sighs> okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. A real man should be able to provide not only for himself, but his relatives as well. 100 pounds. Come on. <laughs> Do you have a family? Yes. A beautiful wife and a seven-year-old daughter. Masha, look what a pretty girl she is. She's pretty, <laughs> all right. Pretty, huh? Enough ogling. Give me that. <laughs> all right, then. I'll just go to the cafe and buy some food. Good afternoon. Tell me, please, is there a psychologist here that I can talk to? I really need to talk to him. Uh, there's Boris Romanovich. Boris, this man needs to talk to you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. 
I'm looking for a child who was brought here to the hospital this morning. Dennis Perepolitsa. What about him? I was at his mother's house. For a long time, no one opened the door for me, although I could hear noises outside the door. So I started knocking on the door, threatening to bring the police. Then she finally opened it. I went in and... And she was in her underwear. Mm -mm. And I was generally shocked from seeing the apartment. Broken furniture, garbage all around, empty bottles lying everywhere. And the stench of smoking rotten eggs. Did you tell her Dennis was here? Well, of course I did, but she didn't even budge. She said, they put a cast on him, didn't they? Well, that's good. Why go there then? That's concerning. You know, she really pissed me off. I dragged her into the bathroom and then turned on the shower. When she finally came to her senses, she started arguing with her guy. They had a fight, but he was expecting it, of course. Was she aggressive? She was hysterical at that point. She screamed that she was garbage, that she wasn't going anywhere. To be honest, living with that guy was not a life. Definitely wasn't. It was like living hell. Don't even know what to do next. How, how should I tell the boy what I think about his mother? Leave it to me. Thank you. Okay. Here you Sorry, go. I used it without permission. I called my mother. Don't worry about that. So did... Did your mother pick up? No, she probably put her phone on mute, so she won't hear it ring. Mm -hmm. How many sugars? Two, please. Do you know, Dennis, that your mother drinks? No. Maybe just a little, but she's definitely not an alcoholic. That man is just a drunk and a bastard. Once that monster leaves, my mother will definitely stop drinking. How often does he drink? So that's every day? Well, it's been going on for three years. That's a really long time. Dennis. Do you understand, then, why she doesn't come? She must be sick because I didn't make much money yesterday. I only brought bread and milk. She didn't eat anything. So I thought I'd go to the warehouse in the morning, take what I can, so I can buy everything, and then those damn boxes fell on me. Oh, Dennis, Dennis. You're such a good boy. <laughs> Have a cheesecake. Here are all the tests for the internship exam. Please make sure to inform Roman and Platon, okay? All right, Oksana Petrita. Oksana, I just talked to the security guard who went to see the Dennis's mother. So, they really have an extremely dysfunctional family. He was also caught stealing. Let's call the police now. But this child is... covered in bruises. This boy grew up on the street and is socially dangerous. People like him can commit a serious crime, including murder. Come on, don't exaggerate. This is not an exaggeration. This is reality. The police will contact the guardianship authorities. They will deprive the parents of their rights. And they will transfer the child to a boarding school and leave him there. The police and the boarding school will only embitter the boy. They'll break his spirit down there. You can break this one. Or he'll break anyone who tries to help him. Jesus, did you talk to him? No, I did not, but... Why those exaggerations, then? Once you talk to him, then we'll draw our own conclusions. All right. Okay, I'll talk to him. I don't think it'll change much, though. At least, I don't think so. Yes, Nazar. I'll meet you at the cafe in a minute. You know, I look at you and Oksana like small children, honestly. Well, if you have a fight, just make up. Why write a resignation right away? Because we won't make up. I'll work for another week and then goodbye. I'll go far away from here as possible. Listen, come with me to the States. What am I going to do there? Prove to everyone that I'm a qualified doctor? No, Nazar, you've already been there without me. There? 
my wife's brother, promises to help speed up this process. He's sitting in the city council for medicine. Officials know each other and all that. Come on, you're there and I'm there. I'll just go to some village. Rent a house somewhere near the river. I'll wake up in the morning and throw a fishing rod. Where the sun rises, quietly. And the job? Don't you want to get a job as a district doctor somewhere? Does the district police need it? Surgeons are needed everywhere. People get sick, not only in Kiev. I won't be lost. Uh -huh. Yeah. E. Five. Missed. E10. You killed me. Ha! Killed! Romshik is such a cool game. Why haven't I heard of this before? <laughs> Hello there. May I? Thank you. Dennis? I would like to talk to you if you don't mind. My name is Boris Romanovich. I'm a psychotherapist. I understand that you were caught stealing some stuff from a supply warehouse. Is that true? So you came here to brainwash me? No, not at all. I just want to understand why you're doing this. And try to help you. With what? What money will you give me? How often do you ask for money? I've never begged for anything. I'm not a homeless person. Well, I'm not saying that you're a homeless person, but something is pushing you to do this, to do such things. I earn as much as I can, and I take only from the bad ones. And I respect the good ones. That's it. A Robin Hood, then. But there's a bit of misunderstanding here. The security guard from the warehouse is quite a decent person, but that didn't stop you. I never meant to set Misha up like that. I always take only from his partner on duty, and I saw this goat drain the liquid detergent and dilute them. And then I saw him sell the stuff outside. That goat of a partner behaves worse than a stray dog. And so you think. It is for you to decide what, who, and how to punish? Sure it is. I think you should also be punished. You're a bad person. <laughs> and why do you think that I'm... so bad? You keep a low profile and pick at people's brains. You just pretend to be kind to people, and that makes you an evil person. That's it. The conversation is over. Hello. Earth to Dennis. You're so far away. Yeah. Hey, listen. Do you like to ride bikes? I don't know how I don't have a father so no one taught me. And I didn't want to embarrass myself in the yard in front of the other boys. Hmm. You know what I like? Putting together model airplanes. With the glue kits included. Yeah, and once I took one in the warehouse, I glued it all night. <laughs> I also glue it at night. We have a grown-up uncle who likes gluing planes. <laughs> my wife tells me the same thing. Do you know what my biggest dream is? What's that? To become an airplane pilot. To fly up in the sky. I even started training for it. Push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups. <laughs> Don't think that I'm just in because I'm not. I'm wiry. Look. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I was wondering, Roman. What? Are you sure you were born on February 3? Yes, I'm sure. Why are you asking me? Uh, good, good. It's nothing. Just that you, uh, are an Aquarius, and I, my zodiac sign is a Capricorn. Not a bad combination for a friendship, don't you think? I can't say. I don't believe in horoscopes. Mm. It's kind of silly for me. Yeah, I see. 
Well, all right then. I'll leave you alone. Hey, listen. Hmm? I was thinking, do you, you want to go to the movies after work? I want to. Yeah? Well, watching a movie with a friend. You can't even think of a better way to spend your time. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Great. I'd love to go. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm at the cafe. Hey, sweetie. Hello. Is that your wife? Yeah. Actually, you shouldn't talk to grown-ups like that. It's okay. I let him. Uh, Roman is my friend, so it's okay. Mm -hmm. Tickle me silly if your friend is 30 years older than you. <laughs> You're even worse than our teacher at school. You just got here and already you have a lot of complaints. How did you even marry her? <gasps> Thank you for the leafy leaves. And what was that all about? You can immediately see that. That boy was not raised properly. No, he's just like any other kid. Really? It's just that... He's had a tough life. Yes, I'll be back to check on you in about 30 minutes. I was right about him. Boy is aggressive and morally unstable. We have to report it to the police. But the security guard already said that nothing was stolen and no one wrote a statement. Roxana, this boy snuck into a warehouse to steal and did it repeatedly. He's an absolutely antisocial person. Tomorrow he might kill someone in pursuit of profit. And we will be responsible for it. Boris, wait. Hey, wait. Stop. This is a hospital, not a gym. Fuck you all. I've had it with talking to people here. What? Okay, let me take you to your room. There's something I don't understand. I know it's a bad life for a kid. Many children are living like this. So what? Kitty. Hey. You know he doesn't have a chance with his family. I was thinking. Look, maybe we could... consider putting him under our custody? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Rahman. Rahman, we have Masha. We wanted a second one, but our own child. Where are we going to adopt that boy? And financially, you know how hard it will be for us, right? I'm also honestly afraid that he will have a bad influence on Masha. You mean the theft? Lisa, you need to understand, though. This comes from his concern for his mother. She's an alcoholic, and he's trying to help her as much as he can. I don't like this conversation. Let's just change the subject. Don't just leave me with an escort! I'll just run away when you leave! So, should I tie you to the bed then? You tie yourself up. You're not helping yourself. Stay here, and don't go anywhere. What are you doing here? I think you need to talk to Oksana. I don't owe you anything. No, you don't. But you're forgetting. You need to talk to me. You need to cry. Most of all, you need to tell me how your life suddenly went downhill after Maxim left you all alone. What a selfish bastard he is. Bastard trampled on your life like it was nothing. And that's when you started drinking, am I right? I'm not feeling well. Come on, just say it now. Your life has become a living hell. And you feel Shut so up. awful every day, every second. Shut up, Swab. I really feel sick. I can't breathe. Sonia. <laughs> Give her some oxygen for now. I'll go look for Sikrevsky. Just wait a moment. I'll get oxygen. <laughs> what are you... Studying there. Yes, I need to know how to drive a car. Are you going to be a taxi driver? <laughs> Hello, son. See, she's here to bring me home. 
Mom, you just didn't hear the phone calls, right? <laughs> yes, son. I didn't hear it. Mom, this is all I managed to put in my pocket. Wait here. I'll be right back, okay? I'll get you something else. <gasps> That's a real man. A real breadwinner. It's nice to meet you. I'm Roman. Hi. Uh, so you know that Dennis was waiting for you to come all morning. And you also know that he's got a concussion. He really needs to stay in bed. But he constantly runs around the yard looking for you. Well, you probably don't care, so... So, judging by the diagnosis and ultrasound, she has acute post-operative pancreatitis. As a result of trauma and edema from the previous operation. A healthy pancreas does not respond to operations this way, but an alcoholic's pancreatitis is a common complication. There is little chance of saving the patient. Tweezers and a scalpel. Then let's do our best. Hello. What do you want? I would like to buy those two croissants. Ten rivnas. Four, five. What is it, not enough? I'll just have one. Well, take this, and the other one is free. I don't take handouts. Give me the other one properly. Oh my god, that was awkward. I've completely forgotten. So today, this morning, our administration made an action for doctors and patients to take one croissant and the other one as a gift for free. You're lying. Oh, she's not lying. I'm not lying. I was going to buy one for the promotion. So why don't you take it? Oh, uh, waiting for my turn. Well, take it. Uh, Tasha, please give me one croissant. Uh I'd love to, Doctor. Here you go. And the other one is free. This is Thank awesome. You. Okay, I'll take it. All right. Can I help you with that? No, thanks. After the first operation, inflammatory processes started in the pancreas, which literally destroyed it all. Clip, please. Judging by the preserved part of the pancreas, the inflammation in it was chronic, as from the effect of alcohol. But you should have considered such a complication and diagnosed it as acute pancreatitis, and treated it after the first operation you knew about her alcoholism. Another clip. Well, you're a real actor, Nazar Semenovich. <laughs> Thank you for playing along. Please contact us. Hey, not so fast. Don't forget, you're paying for the second... Oh, sorry. Time. I thought we were still playing. We played too much. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Tasha. Yes? Do you have something stronger than tea? You're still at work. My shift will end in two hours. And I have an important event today. At least 50 millimeters, because I need to be brave. Well, only 50 milliliters. Mm. And don't ask for more. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you. Let's sew it up. Well, that's it. I wish you all good evening. It's time for me to see my wife. Yeah, and watch her. 
She's still very unstable. What are you doing with your boy? You make him steal things? You're a healthy young woman. Maybe stop drinking. Dennis is an intelligent, nice kid. And you not only use him, you also beat him. I'm not hitting him. That's from Vova, the man I live with. When he gets drunk, he provokes me to a fight and my son defends me. But it's not as simple as you might think. He does more for me than most men would. But I would love to give him up to a good family because he deserves more. But who's going to help me out? We don't work, and he's very good at it. Yes, and the wolf beats me less. Because my son protects me from his constant beating. Look, I don't understand this. Are you pretending, or are you really having a hard time? Why even give birth to a child if you can't take care of it? It was a shotgun birth. Ah, a shotgun birth. <laughs> Listen. Maybe since you're kind, you'll take him in for yourself. You take care of him. Huh? Uh, but, but I don't have the guts to tell him. He reads morals here. Here are people like you. Who would sell their children for $2,000 for a living? Are you making a suggestion? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm listening. What's wrong with you? Where does it hurt? What happened? Breathe. Breathe calmly. I'll call a cloud of Pachivna now. Hurry up! <laughs> Have you seen Platon anywhere? Mm, no, why? Nothing. We just agreed to meet my parents, and he's nowhere. Mm, finally. Otherwise, the child would soon say hello to everyone. Sonia. Platon, my love. I called you a hundred times. Mm. Oh, I didn't notice. I'm ready to give it up. Lead on. I want to see my parents. Say this, please. Clara Paraselimin Balosa Ciclots. Clara Parali. All right. Clara Pala... Clara Pala Sara. You're hopeless. Don't even try again. Sonia, I can do it. Paralala Piped. Well, what's wrong with her again? Platon, you're going to have a baby <sighs> soon, and you're acting like... <sighs> He experienced a severe attack of asthma, and this happened because of the substances that his body considers allergenic. We need to find out which ones. And how do you do it? Dennis? Can you remember what happened before your attack? You possibly may have inhaled a specific smell. Lee saw you lean against the wall. The nurse was cleaning the floor. And you happen to smell the scent of the detergent? Well, we'll find out after the allergy tests. How bad is it, Doctor? The next attack may be his last. You understand that he needs special care and that now you need to regularly buy him special inhalers. But me and my Vova, we, we don't work at all. We don't have any money. You will have to contact the guardianship authorities. <sighs> Please don't try to threaten me with them. It would be better just to give me and my child an hour to talk, can I? You can. I'll leave you be. Go 
but she's not a mom at all. I'll go see the kid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, there's my buddy. Why do you look so sad? You know your uncle is healthy, yet upset seeing you in pain like this. She betrayed me. I don't give a damn anymore. If I don't bring her some money and food to eat, do you understand? I understand. I understand. I'll run away from home and earn my own money for this inhaler. The doctor said, you need to buy it all the time. Don't worry, I'll figure something out. I won't leave you, believe me. I believe you. I immediately believed you for some reason. You're a great man. <laughs> Thank you. Dennis, I'll step out for a minute, okay? Yeah, I'll just be here. <laughs> Come on. Hang in there. Oh, honey, I do not know what this boy has done to me. He's so independent. And so help us at the same time. Lisa, it's a good thing. You're seeing it differently. Roma, I'm ready for him to come into our family. It's going to be hard for us, I know, but we can <laughs> handle it, right? <laughs> of course, of course we can handle it. I'll... Take even more home repairs, whatever it takes, I promise. We can handle it, we can handle it. Do you think he'll agree? I don't know. He loves his stupid mother so much. Are you still here? Yeah, but I'm on my way home. What is this? Marshmallows, tea? <laughs> is there anything you want to talk about? Yes, there is. So tell me how you're feeling. You're pale. My head hurts. I feel tired and weak. Of course you're tired. Tell me, have you finished all the IVs that I gave you the other day? Well... Of course you didn't finish it. Well, how can you be healthy after that? <laughs> now I will personally deal with it. Drink it while it's hot. Well... How are you? Hello. Dennis. Lisa and I were talking and... If you want, you can stay with our family. We will buy all the medicine and pay for everything. I'll teach you how to ride a bike. Who we'll even glue airplanes, huh? You say that because you know I'm running away from home. Dennis, we really want to help you. And I'll also find your mother some simple, easy job. You can see her whenever you want and as long as you want. Then it turns out that I have to act just as mean as my mother. What do you mean? Because I have to trade one mother for another. No, I'm not applying for that job. We'll just be friends, good friends. And your mom stays your mom. You're kind. I was wrong then. But I have to think about it. <sighs> All right. Who's there? Courier.
Good afternoon. Hello. Here's your order. Oh, that's great. Here, please take it. We'll keep the change. Goodbye. Have a nice day. I ordered a meal at a restaurant, and I found an Italian wine. No, I called him and said I was still stuck in traffic. If you could only see how delicious the food is here. <laughs> no, Boris. I won't make a single mistake. Don't worry. Yes, he said as soon as he arrives, he will dial me. Mm -hmm. This is great. Then you're already running. What an amazing healing experience. Maxime, I've been wanting to tell you for a long time. I wanted to surprise you. You sure did. Maxime. I... I love you, you know? I love you very much. You're not leaving me, are you? Boris is a wizard. I congratulate you. Max. 